Hi guys, this video is pretty much based around uh, bike choice and the choice of your riding equipment. Um, I get asked all the time uh, what choice of bike hoods I use for track days or even racing uh, and which is you know which is the best option. Um, obviously for me, I'm very lucky I get supplied a, a lovely brand new Kawasaki ZX-10R from Kawasaki UK. Um, obviously this bike is, is more than capable than everything that I wanted to do on the racetrack and I'm really lucky that it's got the full electronics package on it with the electro uh, ABS, the traction control, anti wheelie it's got the auto blipper to help me go down the gears nice and smooth. So um, obviously the cost of this bike, um, you get what you pay for in terms of all the technology and everything that's been invested over the years of race and it's all developed and, and put back into the road bike so it really is worth spending the money on whatever latest top sports bike that you can afford whether it be a Kawasaki or any of the other manufacturers um, so generally I always say in my opinion the 1000cc bike is the easiest bike to ride on the track now just because it's a 1000cc don't think oh yeah but I couldn't handle that because it's obviously a lot more horsepower and, and the, you know the figures are, are totally different in my opinion the 1000cc is a lot easier to ride than a 600 even if I'm a, I was an amateur rider I would say that the reason for that is because the spread of power from zero revs right through the rev range um, on a 1000cc bike is so much user friendly to use uh, and you can hang on to the gears for a little bit longer on the 1000cc bike as opposed to a 600 um, so yeah in my opinion the 1000 cc in across the you know across all the manufacturers especially the more modern you can afford the more the better the electronics are them electronics is your safety net and i see so many riders get away with absolute murder on track um or, you know getting away from massive crashes and, and big big injuries uh, just because the electronics are keeping them on the bike whether it be the ABS or the traction control or going down the gears smooth because they've got an auto blipper um, if you can afford the, the bike with the electronic packages on it is definitely worth the investment because uh, all them electronics is your safety net uh, and they're designed over so many years from all the top racers for a reason ultimately for us on these road bikes to keep us safe on track so um yeah um if you want to choose the 600 route or a smaller uh, bike option or most modern 600s have have a small electronics package on them these days with uh, a bit of traction control and a bit of abs uh, most of them have quick shifters now um uh, some of them don't have the down blipper so um, but yeah, a 600 in my opinion is a much harder bike to ride fast as opposed to the 1000cc. Yeah, of course it's a, it's a little bit lighter, the 600 and the 1000 is a little bit heavier. But as a whole package, I, I, I generally feel the 1000cc bike is, is the safer, easier bike to ride, especially if you've got the electronic stuff on, on the bike. So, um, yeah, I'd definitely say a thousand cc all day long over a six hundred or even I don't know six seven five or whatever other you know seven fifties and stuff. Um, so that's my opinion on bike choice, guys. Obviously, for me, I would choose the green one because I love the Kawasaki. It's had so much success in the British and World Championships over the recent years, uh, and as I say, it's everything more than I ever need on on track, uh, and I'm very grateful to Kawasaki UK for this one. Uh, and their support. On to riding gear, okay? So riding kit again, I'm really fortunate enough to be supplied all my kit by RST, uh, boots, leathers and gloves, and also by RI UK for my lovely new RI helmet. Um, now, I see so many riders up and down pit lanes on, on loads of track days, um, they've spent the money, they've invested well and bought themselves the best possible bike they possibly can um, and with all the electronics which is great, that's, that's fine and then they pay for a bit of tuition and you go out and, and coach them, that's great 
But then they'll come down the pit lane and have like the oldest set of boots and leathers and the oldest of helmets. And I just think, why bother getting all the new electronics and everything to keep you safe and investing in yourself and paying for a bit of tuition? And then put a, a set of leathers on that's bit had that many crashes and repairs or it's the leather's that old it'll just rip like a piece of paper when you hit the floor so what i'm trying to say is don't uh don't scrimp or if, don't try and save money on your riding kit guys if if you're gonna invest in anything if you want to be safe out on track there's three things to invest in your riding kit um obviously the best technology you can buy in terms of safety with the electronics on whichever bike that you, you end up choosing to buy and obviously tuition they're the three main things that is the best investment for you um you know i would say you can't ever ever spend enough money on leathers boots gloves and especially your helmet you know um i've many a times over the years where i've done deals with certain other manufacturers because they paid a little bit more money or whatever and the helmet hasn't been as good or whatever and for me and i'm not just saying it because i'm sponsored by our ra helmets but for me i've crashed so many of these over the years and uh, saved my life so many times i would never wear anything other than an ra helmet so in my opinion um that these are the best helmets in the world and hence why so many top racers wear them uh, having said that, the helmet technology has moved on over the years and like the bikes, uh, you know, the technology in most top brands of, of helmets is really good these days. So, but my preference has definitely been the RI and I wore RI for the majority of my race career. Um, leathers, RST, the boots and gloves, RST. Again, I've crashed in many of these suits. Um, the boots, the gloves, very good value for money. Um, and they more than do the job. As I said, I've, I've bounced down the circuit so many times over the years and my protective gear has, has always done its job. Uh, never have I ever been let down by my RST equipment. So again, a big credit to the guys at RST. They're always constantly developing uh, to improve the um, technology in the RST equipment and hence why they sponsor top riders the likes of alex lowe's and and in world super bikes and many other top names in bsb um so that all the rst kit is, is more than um tested and tried so and as i say it's it's for me it's the best value for money if even if i had to pay for my kit i would still definitely choose the rst stuff because i know it's good enough more than good enough and it's it's good value for money so again the point i'm trying to make guys is invest as best as you can if you want to look after yourself if ever the inevitable happens and you're bouncing down the, the track on your backside um, and you're relying on your safety equipment to keep you safe it's at that point then you'll wish you'd have spent that extra bit of money on the best riding equipment you possibly can uh, and make sure your helmet is always acu approved which will have the um, gold sticker on the back of the helmet um, just to, to, to show that it's up to standards. So there you have it guys, by choice and uh, protective gear. Um, spend as much as you possibly can afford and uh, you'll get the safety that you need on track if ever you need it from your bike and your equipment. Thank you.